speaking. Santa's speaking, Santa's speaking German. We don't know what he's saying, but I think he just shouted us out. <laughs> Another pretty cold day. Our few big highlights we want to hit today um, are a beer hall, and then Santa is coming at 3:30 to the Christmas market with Krampus. Which explain Krampus briefly? It's like half goat, half demon that goes after the bad kids at Christmas. It's like German folklore. He is the antithesis of Santa, the way we understand it. Just wait till you see. He's demonic. One day closer to Christmas time, they have a Krampus walk where a bunch of people dress up as Krampus and then like parade through the town. And we were like, oh, that sounds insane. Let's go. And <laughs> we looked up some videos on YouTube and they like, they like beat you up. Yeah, they whip you. <laughs> I didn't, wasn't in the mood to get whipped with twigs yesterday, so we didn't go. And it's probably not that crazy. I don't know. But we'll see Krampus during the daytime with Santa. Much safer. To keep him in check. So hopefully that will be more palatable. If you're unfamiliar, um, there are a lot of parts of the classic The Sound of Music that are filmed here in Salzburg. So we're going to check out a couple of those sites too. I apologize for anything we said is incorrect. It's been a while since I've seen it. Cody has never seen Sound of Music. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very unofficial tour, so. Behind me is the statue where Maria and the kids sang Do Re Mi from Sound of Music. So we've already spotted one Sound of Music filming site. <laughs> So Sarah was way wrong. She's not a fan of the movie. That's the actual fountain we heard from a officially licensed tour guide, not random people standing around. It's a that's the actual fountain. crossed over the bridge and found this little spot and it is so pretty. It's one of those moments you just sit back and take it in. <laughs> wow. Wow. Is this real? about 10 30 a.m. and the lighting is just I mean I'm like I have no chill it is so beautiful the weather is perfect this feels like winter wonderland the Sun is making everything 10,000 times more beautiful than it already is can't get over how beautiful this morning is. <laughs> it's just like 26, 27, sunny. The air is so crisp and it is so sunny and beautiful and the lights reflecting off the mountains. It just feels like a perfect December morning, which we don't get a lot of at home. It really does. Oh my gosh. Thomas Silly, which is said to be where the Mozart woods 
sauce in from time to time, and we both got large chocolate chip milk, which looks super yum. We're gonna head back to the Christmas market now that we're a little bit more awake, <laughs> and hopefully find some things and eat some things for real this time. <laughs> to ride into the Christmas market and we've been here for about 30 seconds and we are so overwhelmed with sights and so smells lovely. and ornaments and food and mulled wine and it's time to eat all the things it's time for you to buy me all the things. <laughs> it's crazy. It's all set like right in the middle of town. It's beautiful. Everyone's eating these amazing baked potatoes and I can't really I don't know what the potato is. <laughs> Oh. Alright, what's in the potato? Sour cream, garlic, bacon, cheese, corn for some reason. <laughs> Ooh. Good? Okay. Okay. Is it hot? Is it too hot? <laughs> Isn't it good? Yeah. Get some of that corn Ultra and that creamy. cheese. Get some of that cheese on the side there. I don't know what the corn adds to it, but it does. <laughs> I think it's part of the appeal. Is that it's warm? <laughs> I'm really cold. Next up, we have the Bosna, which is the original Salzburger, um, which. Looks like two bratwurst and smells like it has some curry powder on it, maybe. Is that what he said? Yeah. 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 Anyways. Looks like a little bit of onion, too. So curry powder, a little bit of onion, two bratwurst, in a bun. <laughs> Soft potato taste in my mouth. <laughs> it's good, though. It's like a really spicy hot dog. <laughs> oh, it's got like spicy mustard. Oh. That's what it is. I, it smelled like curry. Yeah, like German mustard. That makes more sense. <laughs> What you think? Oh yeah. Got those onions. That spicy sausage. That spicy mustard. Mm -hmm. Out of bounds. <laughs> Good. 
the nuts kind of offset the sweet and give it a crunch, you know? It's so good. <laughs> I kind of want to go out on a limb and say it's the best crepe I've ever had. <laughs> so we kept seeing this booth with like a bunch of paper locked in this clear box with wind pushing on it. So it's flying around all over the place. And it looked like you could donate and then you grab a paper and then they read the paper and they give you whatever it says. And we thought that was really cool. So we wanted to do it. I thought it was just for children, but Cody talked me into it. And so he got... Candle. A pretty little candle holder, and I, in my struggle of trying to even grab a hold of paper because they're flying around so fast, got an apple. <laughs> All right, what do we got so here? We got some blue wine. Alcohol yes, like drink. a hot alcoholic drink that everybody, literally everyone, is walking around drinking at the Christmas market. So we had to find the booth. Mm -hmm. And you keep the mug, it's a three euro deposit. But if you want to keep it, you can just keep it. What does it taste like? It's hard to explain. Like, sweet wine is hot. Try it. Mmm, <laughs> and sugar. Wow, it's good. We're currently heading to see. Prince. And. Santa. <laughs> Krampus, but it's St. Nicholas Day, yeah. right? Yeah. And so... And they had a thing in this Christmas market where Santa and Krampus came to hand out gifts to kids. They come rolling through the crowd. Krampus is like grabbing kids' heads. Children are crying all around us. <laughs> Santa's taking gifts out of Krampus's backpack, giving them to kids. That was crazy. <laughs> and there was no security with them. No. Cramp just going Krampus cramp was just parting the waters. The water. It was just boom. <laughs> and kids were like flocking all over the place. We were in the middle of the crowd all of a sudden. You couldn't move at all. There were so many people around us. And Santa's just reaching into Krampus's little backpack thing and pulling out chestnuts. gifts and chestnuts. That was wild. So I guess from the way we understand it, Krampus is like supposed to scare the kids into being into good being and good. then Santa is what you know gives you the gifts but he's a helper for being good but Krampus they're not enemies I thought they were enemies they're actually and tight. I haven't seen a whole lot of like elf culture here uh -uh. so is Just, Krampus the yeah. main yep. Santa kick? and his demon Santa and Krampus I I'm so curious there's so many things I'm wondering about this situation are there goats in the North Pole like how did they come to be yeah, zero friends elves. I hadn't seen anything about reindeer. And was Santa like, I'm Santa having trouble. Krampus. I'm having trouble keeping people on the nice list. So you look ugly as hell. You come along yeah. with me, and we're gonna. I would have never done anything bad as a kid if you had Krampus. Like they say, that Krampus will show up. No. Children here must not put a toe out of line. And and parents parents were like shoving their children up to Krampus, trying to get pictures and they were of the kids. <laughs> I can't. We're walking right along the water as the sun is setting. 
and back to our pretty spot from this morning. And I can't get over how beautiful this place is. Unbelievable. It feels like Christmas Wonderland in the best possible way. But you walk like right on the water with these buildings lit up behind you. The lock bridge now has Christmas lights lit up and you just feel like it's one of those moments that you're gonna remember forever. Oh. anything you want to say? No. Princess Diaries, or the Princess Diaries grandma. That's what she's known from. No, that's not Julia. <laughs> oh my gosh. The she's song. in the movie. Yeah, I know, but the... It's the prequel to Princess Her name is Maria. I want to say Mary. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, because how are you? Never mind. <laughs>